let's discuss one important concept so far we divided line into two parts maybe equal or not equal if we talk about equal parts we get the midpoint if we are talking about in a different ratio we are talking about the case we discussed in previous session ratio m1 by m2 or you can take k by 1 as well now in this session we are going to discuss a case where we are going to have three parts of a line remember we are talking about a line and we are going to divide into three parts and those parts are equal we are not talking about ratio here we are talking about equal parts and three parts this topic is also called as a trisection we are dividing into three parts that's why three sections trisections let's start with the understanding first of all let me take a number line rather than we go for two dimensions let's start with the one dimension i'm taking a number line let's say a and b and let's say i'm taking length 9 cm and i want to divide into three equal parts okay so what i will be doing i will be dividing with directly three so divide with three so you are going to get what three centimeter so after three centimeter i will be getting one point okay and another three centimeter i will be getting another point let's name it as p and q so three centimeter here three centimeter here and three centimeter so if we add all three parts we are getting nine centimeter as an answer simple so this points p and q is dividing the line into three equal parts this is the concept of this question very important many times it has been asked in this chapter there are very uh, few concept and focus on it you can get good marks let's read the question first of all find the coordinates of the point of trisection of the line segment joining 4 comma minus 1 minus 2 comma minus 3 okay so starting point of a line and ending point of a line is given very easy so let's start we are not going to consider this line for our question we'll draw one more so let's say here the number line a my coordinates be careful while you write the coordinates 4 comma minus 1 so 4 comma minus 1 then b what is the coordinate minus 2 comma minus 3 and i need two points i need two points let's say here p and somewhere here q i want to find two points so far we were finding only one point like the case of the previous one dividing the line in two ratio or getting the middle point only one point but here we are going to find two points remember calculation will be little bit longer compared to the previous one because we need to do calculation two times it makes sense so how shall we start we need to divide this line into three equal parts so first of all let's say that i am taking each part as x here also x and here also x done simple now first of all i am imagining that there is no point over q here no point there is only a p and b let's forget that point q so it will become the simple case of the previous one which is m1 by m2 so if i want the ratio a p by p b remember a p by p b i am only taking this a p first then i am taking the p b for me q point does not exist for this first calculation remember only p i am taking so a p by p b okay so let's start a p is what x and p b so x plus x that will be 2x so here you need to make your own ratio remember this ratio you need to make on your own then only you will be able to do the calculations right so let's x do cancellation xx will cancel so it is 1 by 2 is equal to m1 by m2 so i have point a starting point point b ending point and ratio m1 by m2 so can we find 
point P? Yes, very simple. We are going to use section formula of ratio M1 and M2, not K formula. Remember, otherwise you will get fraction. If you are comfortable with the fraction, go ahead with it. Otherwise, do the normal formula with the whole number. So let's find the coordinates of point P. So let's write the formula P here x comma y simple so i hope you remember the formula so far you can see over here first m1 then x2 plus if it is m2 then x1 and denominator addition of two ratio m1 plus m2 then let's write the same for the y coordinate which is m1 y2 plus m2 y1 and in denominator sum of two ratio which is m1 plus m2 done now let's substitute the values here so p x y as it is i want to find those value my first ratio which is one second ratio two so one plus two and denominator addition one plus two then here also 1 plus 2 and denominator sum of ratio which is 1 plus 2 close the bracket now x and y coordinates are missing okay so we need to give name to x1 and y1 then x2 and y2 so this a i will be calling as a one coordinate and b i will be calling as two coordinate so i will be needing x2 first what is x2 minus 2 let's write minus 2 then x1 which is 4 right then y2 which is minus 3 and y1 which is minus 1 let's simplify it's 2 minus 2 into 1 will give you minus 2 then 2 4 is a 8 denominator will be 3 1 plus 2 3 simple 1 into minus 3 minus 3 then 2 multiply by minus 1 minus 2 and denominator 3 be careful with the negative sign it's very important equal to minus 2 plus 8 will give you what positive 6 and denominator 3 minus 3 minus 2 minus 5 over here and 3 so let's do cancellation 3 1s are and 2s are so my coordinate for point p is 2 comma minus 5 by 3 so p x y is 2 comma minus 5 by 3 so coordinates of p is with me now i need to find the coordinates of point q how shall we do it there are two different ways to find the coordinate coordinates of point q either you can use the section formula again but here instead of p i will be taking as a q over qb then you get your ratio it will be 2 by 1 reverse of it because if you take this part x plus x will be 2x and denominator only this x so that will be 2 by 1 reverse of this or there is one more method think we have discussed this let's remove this this part then you can see that q is a midpoint of p and b q is a midpoint of p and b see this side also x and this part is also x x by x ratio is one by one so it is midpoint if i do calculation with the formula of midpoint it will be way easier than the ratio formula remember you need to get only two coordinates then you add and divide by two it will be more sim more simpler both ways your answer will be correct as far as your calculations are correct remember your marks will not cut even if you do with the midpoint formula or even with this section formula because purpose is to find the point right so let's find the coordinates for q with the help of midpoint formula so coordinates for p q sorry so q x comma y again let's write what is my first coordinate p that will be p right that's that will be one for me and coordinates of b let's write coordinates of b it is minus two comma minus three done 
Now we are going to add x coordinate first of all. Okay, so let's do it. So here x coordinate of p which is 2 then x coordinate of b which is minus 2 and denominator 2 y2 because we are talking about midpoint formula remember we are using two formulas in one sum section formula along with the midpoint formula then y coordinate which is minus 5 by 3 okay minus 5 by 3 fraction then plus minus 3 and denominator 2 remember that is fraction in numerator you need to be careful while you are having fractions lcm plays very important role so 2 minus 2 0 0 divided by 2 will give you 0 simple done now here see let's talk about only the numerator part let's forget that there is 2 in denominator how would you solve this minus 5 by 3 plus minus 3 you need to take lcm which is 3 so here I will be multiplying 3 right so minus 5 as it is then 3 3 is a 9 and there is a negative sign so minus 9 here 3 in denominator and main denominator there will be 2 so let's simplify further so 0 comma minus 5 and minus 9 what will you get yes minus what 14 so minus 14 denominator this 3 will come into denominator as well so 3 multiply by 2 done so 0 comma let's do cancellation to 1 za and 7 za so minus 7 by 3 is my coordinates for point q simple let's recall the steps this is very important concept of trisection remember there are two different coordinates we need to find for point p and for point q so when we want to find for the point p whenever you find coordinates for first point not only for p suppose if you want to find q first again you need to take the section formula second step is easy only in second step we can use the midpoint first step we cannot use midpoint it's not possible because we don't know any of the coordinates of p and q we need to have at least one information either p or q that we don't have it so first we got the value of p with the help of sex section formula then you need to use the midpoint for midpoint formula to get the coordinates of point q so this is how we solve sums related to trisection